Reading, Reading with Val. Hi everyone, my name is Valerie. During this past summer, there have been a lot of Black Lives Matter protests and also shootings. And recently there have been also some Asian shootings and a lot of terrible cases that have to do with hate and violence. And so this book, A Good Kind of Trouble, shows how young kids like me um, can fight for change and how they can make a difference in all these racist cases and scenes. A Good Kind of Trouble is by Lisa Moore Ramey. And this book is a realistic fiction book and I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. In that good kind of trouble, our main character is Shayla. And Shayla uh, has always been with her best friends, Julia and also Isabella. Uh, they are the United Nations because uh, they come from different backgrounds. Julia is Asian, Isabella is Puerto Rican, I think. Sheila, Shay, Shay is African American. And uh, during this book, sometimes like Julia, um, Isabella, and Shayla's connection falters a little bit. And it's about their, their friendship um, and also about how they how they've been how they've been friends for so long, but then how things change. And Sheila's older sister Hannah, in another part of the book, um, Hannah she she has been protesting in Black Lives Matter for Black Lives Matter, and Sheila wants Sheila's kind of Sheila is Sheila's scared um, about that but also she finds a way to make a difference. Hannah has these armbands that you like put around your arm, right? And it says like Black Lives Matter. And that is, that's the actual band right there. And Shayla gets a lot of them and passes it out to school so everybody can get, everybody can put in a little bit just by wearing this armband and how it, it means something in how if the kids protest together, uh, they, you can make a change. And they raised awareness to the teachers, to the principal, to everyone because shooting, like shooting people, shooting innocent people is just some things that we, we shouldn't, nobody should do. And there isn't a reason why people should force hate instead of love. This book has so many emotions written in it, folded into it, because this is a thing that I think, this book is a, a book that, and a story that I think all of us can relate to with the hate crimes that have been pushed towards so many people of color. My favorite character in this book is Shayla. I love Shayla because she is a person that has a voice and is not afraid to speak out about the problems that she and her family face. With Black Lives Matter, there is so many things that are going on and Shayla manages to raise awareness and to make a part of her be told and how she incorporates other people into making a difference. She is a young protester, a young kid, and how she pushes through and manages to make a difference. We all have a part to honor and to spread love around and not hate. Um, America has a lot of holes, like holes of hate and holes of crime and holes of violent, violence. But if we all do our part, like I said, maybe those holes will shrink and get smaller. And then we will become not a perfect country, but a better one. I would recommend
Children's Book to Kids Between the Ages 9 through 12. This book is an amazing book for kids who love books about speaking out and also kids uh, and also people who want to know more about the Black Lives Matter acts and protests. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. See you guys later. Bye!